But you know what, ladies? It's time to channel your inner champion with Breast Cancer Awareness Month this month. And a report by the National Health Institute suggests women and their doctors need to prioritize prevention. Here to help us get our prevention strategy together is Dr. Carrie Pedersen, a contributor at Women's Health Magazine. We have broken it down into six sections for people so that they can really start to go after it. First up, we want to look at environmental factors. That's right. What is it about the environment that we've really got to be aware of so that we can sort of manage this on our own? There are certain things in the environment that we're exposed to on a daily basis that can potentially increase our risk of breast cancer. They're called endocrine disruptors, and they mimic hormones in our body such as estrogen, and we know that chronic estrogen exposure over time increases your risk. An example of this is something called a phthalate. They're found in cosmetics and in right. plastics, so you want to keep an eye out for those. And How do we find a phthalate? Because it's not listed as a phthalate on the ingredient label. I, it's probably not going to be on the box. You may have to be a little more creative and Google it. Do we also need to look for fragrance? Don't they hide in fragrance they as well? They can be in fragrances, in certain baby products, mm -hmm. in, uh, and as I mentioned, some creams and in lotions. All right. Next up, we want to look at genetic factors. We need to know our family history, but we we've got to go beyond that, too. That's correct. The most important thing is find out if you have a family history of breast or ovarian cancer. Those are the two big red flags. Okay. If, and the closer the relative is to you and the younger they are at the age of diagnosis, the more alert you should be because 5 to 10 percent of cases of breast cancer are hereditary. And we should test ourselves for the gene? If you are family history positive, ask your doctor whether it's appropriate to get tested for the BRCA1 and 2 gene. If you're tested positive for one of those gene mutations, it increases your risk to 87%. And if you're negative though, that, it, that doesn't mean smooth sailing necessarily. It doesn't necessarily. If you have a family history, you still may want to consider early detection screening programs. Be such vigilant. As, absolutely. Just be aware, speak to your physician, and if you are uh, if you do have a genetic predisposition, do get screened early. Let's talk about being proactive with exercise. Come on, how much does exercise play into this? Tremendous. There have been over 60 studies that have demonstrated that regular exercise reduces the risk of developing breast cancer. Just three hours per week can reduce your risk by 20 to 30 percent. That is a tremendous amount. That's like a half amount. hour walk a day. It's really not that difficult to get just a little bit in every single day to reduce your risk of breast cancer. Okay, and let's talk about our behavior. What are the things that we need to be doing? The number one thing that you should do to prevent the risk of getting breast cancer is to maintain a healthy weight. Number one. If you are overweight, it can, re it can increase your risk of breast cancer by 30 to 60 percent, especially wow. if you carry it around your midsection. Which That's a lot the of worrisome us do. fat. That's kind of the way we're built. Yeah, that belly fat produces estrogen. That again can increase your risk, 43 percent risk if you have belly fat. And I don't want to miss the last one. We got to talk about stress, that whole mental health factor that comes in. Chronic stress, again, has been linked to the development of breast cancer. All these hormones that are produced by being under stress can increase the likelihood of triggering the growth of cancer cells. So do exercise, so exercise is a great to solution. Cut your stress. That's right. All right, or eat healthily. Thank you. Eating so healthily too. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And for more health and wellness solutions, pick up the latest issue of Women's Health magazine on newsstands now. Right.